All right, so we just go to google.com and then once you go to google.com, you said search for sign up for Google AdWords and you just click on, you know, the, the first link that is by Google, which says they'll show you how to sign up for Google. Then just look at it. You have options like start now and they also have a helpline that pops up onto the right, which says that you know, you can call an AdWords expert, they have a phone line, you can also chat with them, so we're not doing that now, so let's just click on sign in at this point in time. So you can either go click on, I mean, before we do that, let's see how it works, and when you do that, it says how you can reach new customers, because that's all we use Google AdWords for, to advertise on Google, and you can create ads on search, display, video, apps, so let me click on search ads, just to give you an idea, so this is these are the ads when you search on Google, and this is how they show up, right? And this is just a little <coughs> case study. So let's just say what display ads. And display ads will say that, you know, these are the different types of ads. So this, this is just an overview of what different kinds of ads that we have. And video ads which show up on YouTube. So if you look onto the right hand side, you will see that, you know, these are the YouTube ads. And so let's just say, all, all you need is, you know, a, a, an email ID and password as we know as I've mentioned in one of my other videos now when you when you click on uh, start now right it would take you to the Google account if you're already logged in and let's just say start now when you do that it takes you to another screen where if you're already logged into your uh, uh, Gmail ID and password because that's the ID that I've used and it'll ask me what is my email ID and I can just quickly put in my email ID which is, uh, let me think, so what, what email ID do we want to go ahead with? So uh, let, let's just, just start, uh, you know, back for a second. And let's say sign in because I already have an ID and password that I would want to use it for. And it asked me for uh, uh, signing up, so let me just say this, and let me just put in the password. Say next. When you do that, since you have already uh, signed up for Gmail with a username and password, which means that you already have a Google account. So I'm just trying to link my Google account with my Google AdWords account. And that's my email ID that I've used. When you when you click on that, there's a drop down, and you will see that this is my Google account that I've used, and this is my email ID. And let me pick uh, any random website for for understanding how AdWords works. So let's say Amazon.com. Continue. Let's wait until the page loads. So once the page loads you would be able to see uh, the settings that Google AdWords provides any advertiser with. So let's give it a second. All right, so when it loads, you will see the Google AdWords logo onto the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you will see a customer ID, which is a 10-digit unique ID, which is given to all the advertisers, right? And yeah, there you go. So you create your first campaign. A campaign focuses on a theme or a group of products. So let's just say that we create a campaign for uh, Amazon and it'll ask me what my budget is and what my target location would be and things like that. So let's start off with just, just as an understanding. Let's just say that, you know, um, I would want to go ahead with, let's say, US dollar or any local currency that you would want. So let's say 1,000 rupees per day is my budget that I would want to go ahead with. Let's just save it. If you do not click on the save, they, they do not get saved, right? So you, it's asking me what my location, and on the right-hand side, it displays what, what are the statistics. Now, at this point in time, it doesn't make any sense to trust the statistics because I have not entered my product or I have not entered my focus keywords. So we're trying to uh, choose a location. Let's just say I want to target uh, Seattle uh, in, in, in the US. So I searched for it in, in the locations tab and I found the location. Now, sometimes what, what happens is you would not uh, find the location that you exactly need. Let's, say, let's just say that I just want to target a particular uh, radius around Seattle. Right, so let's just say that I don't want to target the entire Seattle, but I just want to say I, I want to target 10 miles uh, around the location that you are about to see in the map, which is Capitol Hill. So let's just say that I just want to target 10 miles around Capitol Hill, 
and I don't want to target entire Seattle. So it just marks out in a circle about your radius and then you just add it to your location. It gets automatically added to your campaign settings. Right? And scroll down. So you just have to save it before you go. And these keywords are, you might wonder how these keywords uh, came here in the first place. Now I'll get to that in a minute. So you can choose whatever type of campaign that you want to want, uh, go ahead with. And you might wonder how I got these keywords here. I got these keywords here because at the time of sign up, I have just uh, entered Amazon.com as, as my website. So I would choose the most relevant type of keyword for, uh, that, I, that I want Google to focus on and get me more variations of. And Google does it, but in real time, trust me, uh, when, when you actually work for campaigns in real time, you would not do this. You would have to go through these steps only for the first time you create a campaign. Right, so in reality, in, in real time, you would do it in another way, but this is just a sign up process. So I'm just showing you what you, you would see when you try to sign up for the first time. Now, once you have found out keywords, you can choose whatever you want. Let's just remove keywords which do not fall under my category. Uh, some of them are other language keywords. So I just removed them for the time being. I've saved it. Now, this is where you would have to write, uh, enter your bid. For example, how much would you want to pay uh, for each click? Which means every time when someone clicks on your ad on Google, how much would you want to go ahead with? So let's just pick anything for the time being. Then you have you have to write an ad where you have a landing page. Remember, we have gave Amazon.com at the time of sign up. And you would have two headlines that you want to come up with. So let's just see what, what can I think of. So let's say, let's just say, uh, or, or should we use it uh, maybe in the second headline, right? So you have a character limit of 30 characters. So you just have to be careful with that. So let me just tweak this ad text a bit. Let's just say buy all that you need. And maybe I would use, uh, uh, you know, the everything store in the second headline. Just make sure you do not include an exclamation mark in your headlines because Google would disapprove the ad then. Let's just say everything store, scroll down and let me write a few uh, uh, attractive things about Amazon so that people who would read the ad would find it attractive, right? Only then they would click on the ad and come to the website. So let's just say white collection, uh, um, what is this kind of thing, unbeatable pricing, then um, let's just say shipping across the globe, I mean now that, now that they have a global store, so let me just change the capitalization, and trending products, um, so that's it, so you have 80 characters that you could use, so we have exhausted them. So let me tweak and see uh, how, how I can make this a little better, so let me leave, say competitive pricing. Uh, shipping should we say worldwide or because that makes it easy right so let's just say shipping worldwide maybe trending products and there always has to be a call to action phrase which means you should tell the user whether he has to call you or contact you or inquire now visit our website so th there has to be a call to action in your ad because the users wouldn't know what they want if you look at it there is another call to action phrase buy which is in the headline that's it, so let's save this. So I've written my ad, I've given the keywords, I've set a bid, I've set a budget, and let's just say save and continue, which will take you to the next screen. Now this is where you would have to enter your, your payment details because AdWords is a paid program and you would have to uh, give them your billing details for them to authorize or verify them. They wouldn't be charging you anything at this point in time. So let's just need to, let's just try and see what settings can I give. And since this is a demo, I would I would uh, urge you not to give in any uh, de details at this point in time, uh, because once you enter the details, they would charge you an activation fee. Let's just say that you know I save billing for later, because once I I'm pretty clear about what I exactly want to do, that's that's when I would go and use this. So let's just say, uh, let's just give in any random address that I already have, and then maybe change my phone number or you could just leave it and then if you look at how you pay if you look at that option there are two options there which is automatic and uh, manual so let's scroll down and let's say like okay now if you say manual and then you would say there has to be a specific amount that you would want and you can choose how much you want to deposit I think there's a, there's a minimum of uh, there's no minimum as that you could go ahead and deposit so since I intend to do this later I would just say net banking and probably I will I will do this later when I when I really have my website up and things ready, right? So this is just the sign-up process I'm showing you and you don't have to pay at this point in time. So let's just say finish and create the ad. Note that I have not given any billing details here, right? Uh, because I don't want Google to charge me at this point in time. So maybe I will do this later. So let's say net banking and say continue. 
Right, so here this is where I would have to choose the bank and, and what details I would want to give. So I, as I said, I would want to do this later and let's just say finish and create ad because you know it will take you to the AdWords interface now which you would see every time you log into your account. So since we don't need the screen, let's close this. All right, so that's it. Get to know your account, talk to an expert, start your guide to AdWords. So this is this means that you've finished your sign-up process. Now you can create a campaign for any of your products and then you can start advertising once you've updated your billing details. So let's just say go to your account, which will take me to my AdWords account. All right, so let's wait until this page loads. Once the page loads, usually it, it, it's updating all your settings in the back end, like your phone number, like your email ID, like your budget, bid, and the, the bid that you have chosen, the location that you have targeted, and uh, you would also have chosen what type of billing that you want to go ahead with, automatic or manual. Now, it's, it's updating all your settings. It might take a while sometimes, and once it's done, it will take you directly to your uh, AdWords account interface. And from then on, uh, every time you log into your AdWords account, you would see the same uh, interface. So that's that's what we are uh, waiting to see now. Let's give it a couple of seconds. All right. So just a quick information before before until this loads. So earlier there was only the possibility of creating one AdWords account with one email ID. Now you can create about six accounts. Now this is the new interface of AdWords that AdWords has recently launched. So you see the keywords that you have added here. This is just a pop-up. Let's just close this. So this is a date range that you can choose to look at what statistics do you want. And this is the ad that you have created. And these are all the tabs that you will see on the left-hand side, which is Canvas. So this is just a basic sign-up process. And once we have done this, we can start. I'll show you in another video about how to create a new campaign and things like that. Right, so this is just the interface and you, whenever you log in from now you would see this. So let's just sign up for the time being. So that's it from us.